Guys, forget the haters. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? It's Monday, so it's back to work. But before we go back to work, we ran out of milk on the weekend and we didn't go shopping because we were camping. And I think this is a perfect excuse. Jess? Yeah? Wanna go get a real coffee? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We are in Joondalup and I'm taking Steven to a cafe that I found online. You know how I always do my Googling. This one is called Moments Cafe. And I found out they do really cheap pancakes but we ate breakfast breakfast before I found that out, so we may have to return if Rookie we like move, the coffee. Yes. For ten dollars, you get five pancakes. That's we could good. share that five dollars each. That's good. So one day we may be returning here. But it's quite wet and dreary, dreary here in Perthies. Decent coffee squeezed between two Chinese restaurants. Let's hopefully, it's a good one. Hopefully. I kind of like the, um, the placeholders for our coffee. Leave in the comments if you can guess which movie that is from. Look up. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see it. <laughs> I got a whale today. That's so cute. Cheers, Jess. Cheers to running out of milk. Cheers to running out of milk. <laughs> no, thank you. What would you give that coffee? Yeah, five out of ten. Um, five sorry. out of ten. The other June Club place we went to where it was like that cool vintage shop slash coffee place, that was much better. Go there if you're in June to love. Guys, I suppose being out of milk is a sign that we should go shopping. So I think we're going to go do a quick weekly shop halfway through the budget. Trolley's looking pretty full. Dollar seventy times two. So that's plus we're doing it in the morning and the shop is dead. This is a good time. Perfect time to go shopping. Guys, we... <laughs> This was a $2 chain. It makes Bella look like such a little tough dog. But we finally got it so we can take it for a walk. I felt so, so bad. Happy. It's been, what, two weeks it's been since no, walk. No, not two whole weeks. Maybe a week. Yeah. It's been so long. They're so happy. Yay, Jumpy, let's go! Let's go! So, I've moved my office back into my bedroom because my dad has taken over the other room. This room is always ever-changing always but like i said at the beginning of the video today is monday which means it is work day i have two back-to-back -back meetings and uh they're on skype and i'm here in a t-shirt and shorts about to eat my pb and j sandwich before i have some meetings with some marketing executives real good Alrighty, meetings are done. They were very good meetings. I've come outside. I feel like, like I was saying before, winter just comes in Australia. If you go back on the vlogs, you'll see it was sunny one week and then just rain. I don't even think there was an autumn in between there. But, come outside, I'm having a bit of vitamin C or vitamin D. I don't know what it is. It's Barocca if you're wondering. Some people hate the taste, some people drink it when it's, they're hungover, but I just get it to get some vitamins into me. Also, I didn't mention it in the video yesterday, but when we were traveling home, I actually missed the dogs, which is weird because they've only really been in our lives for like a month and a half or something, but you really get attached to dogs. I really missed Joffrey and Bella when we went away, and I'm glad we finally got them a new lead. So we take them for some more walks, I felt too bad. I just finished editing up the weekend's camping trip, and I really made you think, I'm so happy that we daily vlog our lives because that weekend could have come, gone, maybe shared a few stories with friends and family and co-workers and then probably forgotten maybe a bit of memories later on to recall it but now that we have the videos there we can go back and relive it. I love it. I implore you like I implored Ashley and Heidi to just film events like they're going away to America they're there now and uh, we got them to hopefully daily vlog it or even just vlog some moments so then they have that for them. It doesn't have to go on YouTube and just be for you and it's incredible being able to look back on that weekend in 10 15 years time whenever showing our kids it's really cool I'm so happy that we do this guys I thought I was being nice making Jake fajitas for dinner and there he is complaining because I didn't know what to put in them so all I bought was just a whole bunch of capsicum but now he's noticed in the picture there's other things in it, but all I've got is capsicum, so now he's not the... He's not very impressed. It'll be a little parcel of capsicum. <laughs> We're gonna have capsicum parcels for dinner. Are you okay with that, Steve? Um, yes. Mexican is always good, and I love capsicum, Jake. But not capsicum parcels, if you ask Jake. Well, we'll see how they go. I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make some wedges as well, so we can have like wedges and fajitas. Yeah, 
I'm trying. I'm oh, trying to be fancy. Oh, I've got onion. Shall I put some onion in it? Thank I just you. don't have any meat, meat or anything for you. I'm sorry. Oh, so you're gonna have to go vegetarian for the night with us. It's not that it's vegetarian, it's just empty. We'll see what they look like. Guys, if you have any tips on how to not cry while cutting onions, that'll be greatly appreciated. My eyes are so sensitive. I always have to get Steven to do it for me. You just gotta have no soul, fuck me. Yeah, cause you don't cry over anything. He has no soul. But I'll show you guys one trick I've learned and I'm not too sure if it actually works. I'm interested in what this trick is well, because she cries every time. Well, usually when people aren't around, this is how I cut onions, are you ready? Yeah. What's with the tongue? What's with the tongue? It's meant to make you not cry. The tongue sticks out. Why? What? Is, what is the stupidity? I do it when no one's around, <laughs> and then I don't cry. <laughs> what is this that you're doing, Bobby? It's a thing. Are you crying? No. Cry for me. Cry for me. I can't cry. My tongue's sticking out. <laughs> Holy fajitas! This is gonna be good! Guys, forget the haters. Give this video a freaking thumbs up if you think that this looks amazing. Speaking of haters, let's go give it to the hater. <laughs> I love that this is a big event because we never make anything different. Jake. It's just becoming a thing now. It's a thing now because tell me that this does not look amazing. Looks good. <laughs> um, look inside, mate. This is amazing. What oh, do you think of that? Words. Did you put tomato sauce in there? No, it's salsa. Oh. Fajita juice. Do you regret what you said? No. This shouldn't need some meat in it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Jess is all fajitaed out and has gone to bed. I might join her. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night, guys. <laughs>